holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross. O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries. Having in thy aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, O oh man, who champion dread, who canst not be put to confusion, <clears throat> despise not our petitions, <clears throat> O oh good and all praise, the Otokos. Establish the way of the orthodox. Save those who have been called upon to govern us. And lead us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gavest birth to God, and alone art blessed. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down, I slept, I wait for the Lord, sustain me, I will not be afraid 
of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for Thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon Thy people. I laid me down, I slept. I wait for the Lord, sustain me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chase me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrow stick fast to me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head as a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. For my, my wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I have bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desires before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope that I will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me, for I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land. Where no water is to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God, of my salvation, I cry day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead. Like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast slain me in the lowest pit, in darkness in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put mine acquaintance far from me, that thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Will thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave for thy faithfulness and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hadest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they encompassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me, and mine acquaintance into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, <clears throat> and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, 
who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that their youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as the Father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For when the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearken unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore, is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate in all thy works. I am used in the work of thy hands, I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me, speedy, O Lord, my spirit faileth, hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I free unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy cut off my enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God.
splendid angel shouted to the women, dry your tears and proclaim to the apostles and cry out in praise that Christ the Lord hath risen, he who hath been pleased 
to save mankind, since he is God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast verily risen from the tomb, and thou didst command the righteous women to preach to the apostles the resurrection as it was written. And as for Peter, he did hasten to the tomb, and when he saw the light in the grave, he was dazzled with surprise. Then he saw the linen clothes lying aside, where it was not possible to see them by night, and he believed and cried out, Glory to thee, O Christ God, for thou hast saved us all, O our Savior, who still remainest in truth, the radiance of the Father. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. <coughs> Let us glorify her who is the tabernacle and the heavenly gate, the most holy mountain, the shining cloud, the heavenly ladder, the paradise, endowed with speech, the deliverer of Eve the precious and great treasure of the universe. For by her did salvation come to the world and the forgiveness of ancient sins. Wherefore do we cry to her, intercede to thy Son and God to grant forgiveness of sins to those who bow in true worship to thy most holy birth-giving. Men did seal thy tomb, O Savior, and the angels did roll the stone from off thy grave, and the women witnessed thy resurrection from the dead. They proclaimed to thy disciples in Zion that thou didst rise, O life of all. And it's break asunder the bonds of death, O Lord. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Verily, when the women came with burial ointment, they heard from the grave an angelic voice saying, Cease your tears, and receive joy instead of sorrow, and cry and praise that Christ the Lord is risen, who being God was pleased to save mankind. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Verily, all creation rejoices in thee, O full of grace the assemblies of angels and the races of men, O holy temple and paradise in dawn with speech, the pride of virginity from whom God was incarnate and became a child, being yet, out, uh, being yet our God before the ages, for he hath made thy respectable a throne and thy womb more spacious than the heavens. Wherefore, O full of grace, the whole creation rejoices in thee and glorify thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroyed the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam, and releasing all men from hell. Mubarakun and tayarab, alimni hukukak, al-malak al-lami'u inda al-qabri, tafawanah wa hamila tatibiqa ilan. ما تمزجنا الطيوب بالدموع بتات نيات المذات انذرنا الأعداء وإفراحنا لأن المخلص قد قام من القوم Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes Very early in the morning did the myrrh-bearing women run lamenting unto thy tomb. But an angel came toward them, saying, The time for lamentation is past. Weep not, but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. إن النسوة حاملة الطيب وفنا بالحنود إلى قبرك أيها المخلص فسمعنا ملاكا متنغما نحوهن قائلا لما تعصبنا الحياة مع الموتى فبما أنه إله قد قام من القبر ناهدا Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, in one essence, crying with the seraphim. 
Seeking among the dead the Lord who is not dead. And when they received the glad tidings from the angels, they preached to the apostles that the Lord has risen and granted the world the great mercy. From my youth the enemy hath tempted me, and with temptations hath he beguiled me. But I, O Lord, trusting in thee, have rejected him in shame. They who hate Zion shall become like grass before it is pulled up. For Christ shall cut down their necks with the sight of torment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Verily in the Holy Spirit all shall live, for he is light of light, a great God. Let us therefore praise him with the Father and the Word. Yea, let my humble heart be lighted by thy fear. Let it rise and fall from thee, O all-compassionate one. He that trusteth in the Lord shall not fear when God shall judge all with tormenting fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, by the Holy Spirit, every divine one seeth and uttereth things to be, and performeth heaven's heavenly wonders. For he singeth to one God in three. For the Godhead, albeit of three lights, is one in leadership. To thee have I cried, O Lord, listen and turn thy ear towards me when I shout. Purify me before thou raisest me from this place. Verily, everyone shall return and disappear in his mother, the earth and shall be dissolved at once to receive either honors or punishments as reward for what he had done in his lifetime. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily through the Holy Spirit one speaketh of the Godhead, the one, the thrice holy, for from the Father, who is without time, and the Spirit, who is there equal in appearance and on the throne, has shown from the Father likewise. Behold how good and how beautiful for the brethren to live together. For of this did the Lord promise eternal life. Verily, he who beautifieth the flowers of the field commandeth that no one take heed for his dress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, the Holy Spirit is the cause of all, and containeth in himself the harmony of safety. For it is truly equal to the Father, and the Son, in substance. The Lord shall reign forever. 
Thy God, O Zion, from generation to generation. The Lord shall reign forever. Thy God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Praise the Lord of my soul. The Lord shall reign forever. Thy God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Praise ye God in his saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord.
Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blood out mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified, and thy word to prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin, and my mother conceived me. For behold, thou hast loved truth. The unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with a guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious should be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise, for hast thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offering sacrifices to God, or a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will and design, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings, then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. المجد للاب والابن والروح القدس بالشفاعة الرسل وطلباتهم أيها الإله الرحوم امحوا كثرة خطايا Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou art merciful. Blood out all the multitude of our transgressions. Mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, hath given unto us life eternal and great mercy. Thank you. 
Rising, right. <clears throat> rising from the tomb that has raised the dead and resurrect Adam, Eve rejoices in thy resurrection, and the ends of the earth rejoice in thy rising from the dead, O merciful one. Thou didst despoil the kingdom of Hades, O compassionate one, and raise the dead. Thou didst go before the myrrh bearers and bring them joy instead of sorrow. Thou didst reveal the signs of victory to thine apostles, O my Savior and source of life. Thou didst enlighten all creation, O loving God. Therefore the world rejoices at thy rising from the dead, O merciful one. On November 26th, we commemorate the venerable Alipius, the stylite of Adrianople. An upright column once Alipius supported, as he sought ascent to heaven where now he dwelleth. On the 26th, O Alipius, thou dwellest where no sorrow is. Alipius served as a deacon with Bishop Theodore in the church in Hadrianopolis. But desirous of a life of solitude, prayer, and meditation, Alipius withdrew to a Greek cemetery outside the city. This was a cemetery from which people fled in terror because of frequent demonic vision seen there. Alipius set up a cross in the cemetery and built a church in honor of St. Euphemia, who had appeared to him in a dream. Beside the church, he built a tall pillar, climbed on top of it, and spent 53 years there in fasting and prayer. Neither the mockery of man nor the evil of the demons could drive him away or cause him to waver in his intention. The courageous Alipius protected himself by the sign of the cross in the name of Jesus. Two monasteries were built beside his pillar, one on one side for men and one on the other for women. This God-pleaser had so much grace that he was often illuminated in heavenly light, and a pillar of this light extended to the heavens above him. Alipius was a wonderful and mighty miracle work in life and also after his repose. He lived for 100 years and entered into rest in the year 640. On this day, we also commemorate Nikon, the preacher of repentance, Venerable Stilianos of Paphlagonia, New Martyr George of Chios, and the repose of Innocent, first, first Bishop of Irkutsk. By the intercessions of Christ our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. Mm -hmm. المسيح ولد فمجده المسيح أتى من السماوات فاستقبلوه المسيح على الأرض فارفعوه رتل للرب أيات الأرض كلها وشعوب سبحوا بابتهاج لأنه قد مجان To the Son who before all time was born immortal of the Father and in these latter days became incarnate seen of a virgin, let us cry out to Christ our God, Thou who has raised our horn, holy art Thou, O Lord. Ayya al-Masih al-Musabbah, laqad khaja qadibun min asliyasah. ومنه قد نبت زارة من جبل مضلل مضغل أيها الإله المنزع عن الهيول فأتيت متجسدا من البتول التي لم تعرف رجلا فالمجد لقدرتك يا رب O God of peace and Father of mercies Thou hast sent us the angel of great counsel Who grants us peace So we are guided to the light of the knowledge of God King early from the night, we praise the O Lover of mankind. In the Hut al-Bahri, 
قد قذف من نحشائه يونان كما تقبله سالما نظير الجنين وأما الكلمة فلما حل في الباتول واتخذ منا جسدا ولد حافظا بدون فساد ولم تلحقه استحالة وحفظا والدة الإله بدون مضارات The three children brought up together in godliness, despising the unrighteous command. We're not afraid of the threat of fire, but standing in the midst of the flames, they sang, Blessed art thou, God of our fathers. ونبارك ونجد للرب إن اللاتون النادي قد صور رسم العجب الفائق طبيعا لأنه لم يحرق الفدية الذين تقبلهم كما أن نار له لم تحرق أيضا مستودع البتول الذي حلت فيه لذلك فلنسبح مترنمين وقائلين لتبارك الخليقة بأسرياء الرب ولتزدد رفعة مدده My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without saying bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos. لأنه نظر إلى تواضع أمته فمنذ الآن تطوبني جميع الأجيال يا من هي أكرم من الشيروبيم وأرفع مجدا بغير قياس من السيروفيم الذي بدون فساد وردت كلمة الله حقا أنك والدة الإله إياك نعظيم He that is mighty hath magnified me and who leaves his name His mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations More honorable than the cherubim And more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim Thou who without sin bearest God the word And are truly theotokos we magnify thee shown strength for this army has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word and are truly theotokos we magnify thee. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the empty with good things, 
and the rich at these and empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the Word, and I truly theotokos me magnify thee. عضد إسرائيل فتاه ليذكر رحمتهم كما قال لبين إبراهيم ولنسله إلى الأبد يا من هي أكرم من الشيروبيم وأرفع مجدا بغير قياس من السيروفيم التي بدون فساد ولدت كلمة الله حقا أنك ولدت لله إياك نعظيم Magnify, O oh my soul, the most pure Theotokos, more honorable and more glorious than the Heavenos. I behold a mystery, strange and most wonderful, heaven is the cave, the cherry. The uncontainable God whom we magnify in song. Again and again, please, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy.
the commandments and in paths of safety. Sitting with the Father, thou didst arise from the dead, releasing the world from the bondage of the stranger, for thou art compassionate and the lover of mankind. Praise God in sanctuary, praise him, praise him in the firmament of his power. Oh, oh, oh Lord, the Jews, place thee in the grave like death. The soldiers guarded thee as a slumbering king, and as a treasure of life they sealed thee. But thou didst arise and grant incorruptibility to our souls. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. Thou didst give us thy cross, O Lord, as a weapon against Diabolus, who, unable to behold his power, doth fear and tremble. For it raiseth the dead and hath an old death. Wherefore do we worship thy burial and resurrection? Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. The angel proclaiming thy resurrection, O Lord, did frighten the guards. But to the women he cried out, saying, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Verily hath risen, being God, and hath granted life to the universe. Sabbihu bitabli wal masaf. سبحوا بالأوتار ولا تترب لقد تعلمت بواسطات الصليب أيها العديم الألام باللهود وقبلت دفنا لثلاثة أيام لكي تطيقنا من عبودية العدو وتجعلنا غير مائتين وتمنحنا الحياة بقيامتك 
أيها المسيح المحب البشر. Praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. I do worship, glorify, and praise thy resurrection from the tomb of Christ. By which thou didst release us from the first bonds of Hades. For being God, thou hast granted the world eternal life and the great mercy. Arise, O my God, lift up thy hand, and forget not the humble. Verily, the transgressors of the Lord God in thy life receiving tomb, and in its sealed placing guards. But thou sayest thou art a deathless, and almighty God did rise on the third day. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show all thy marvelous works. When thou didst enter the gates of Hades, O Lord, and spash them, the prisoner cried out, Who is this, for he is not condemned? To the lowest parts of the earth, but has torn down death's prison house like a tent. I received him as a mortal, and I trembled at him as God. O oh, all powerful Savior, have mercy upon us. <laughs> Blessed art thou, O virgin Theotoko, for through him that was incarnate of thee is Hades despoiled. Adam is recalled from the dead, the curse is made void. Eve is set free, death is slain, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore, in hymns of praise, we cry aloud. Blessed art thou, Christ our God, who is thus well pleased. Glory to thee. سبحك نباركك نسجد لك نمجدك 
نشكرك من أجل عظيم جلال مجدك يا رافع خطيئه العالم ارحمنا يا رافع خطايا العالم لانك انت وعدك قدوس انت وعدك الرب يسوع المسيح في مجل الله الاب امين اهلنا يا رب ان فضى في هذا اليوم بغير خطيئتي تكن يا رب رحمتك علينا كمثل اتكالنا عليك مباركون انت يا رب علمني حقوقك كنت لنا في جيل وجيل أنا قلت يا رب ارحمني واشفي نفسي لأنني قد خطيت إليك لأن من قبلك يا عين الحياة وبنورك نعاين النور قدوس الله قدوس القوي قدوس الذي لا يموت ارحمنا قدوسون الذي لا يموت ارحمنا Thank you. 